We invite you to spend another educational session with the idol of the nation's youngsters, Mr. Science. As we look in on the modern, well-equipped laboratory today, we see that little Jimmy Schwab is just arriving to watch Mr. Science perform his latest fascinating experiment. Well, Jimmy, you've arrived just in time to watch me perform my latest fascinating experiment. Oh, hot diggity, Mr. Science. This year must be my lucky day. <laughs> I also didn't catch the measles this morning from the kid next to me at school. And now, what fascinating experiment am I going to be privileged to behold? Well, today, Jimmy, we're going to utilize our laboratory equipment to prove that all chemical elements expand in size when they're heated. Holy mackerel, Mr. Science. I never dreamed that chemical elements did that. In fact, I tried to heat an ice cube once and it just turned into a puddle. <laughs> well, ice isn't really a chemical element, Jimmy. But if you'd heated the water you obtained from melting your ice cube, then you could have seen it expand. Gee, well, it is, Mr. Science. I don't understand how I could have heated that water when it was all spilled on the rug and soaked right into well, it. Well, that's only because you weren't using modern laboratory equipment to perform your experiment. And water really isn't the best element to test for heat expansion anyway. But today, you'll see how another common element increases greatly in size when it's heated. Now, to prove dramatically that the molecules and chemicals grow larger when they're warmed up, we're going to start our experiment with a test tube of chilled mercury. Golly Moses, Mr. Science. What's that large, imposing piece of laboratory equipment you've utilized to chill the mercury? That's called a refrigerator, Jimmy. Great day in the morning. Wait till I brag to the bullies at the playground that I've seen one of those. Yes, I'm sure it'll be quite a feather in your cap, son. But the most amazing part of this experiment is still to come. Now, notice how the mercury cooled in the refrigerator fills only about half our test tube. Gee whiz, yeah. It's too bad you didn't have enough to do the experiment right. Well, as you'll see in a moment, lad, this is all the chilled mercury we need to do the experiment properly. Now, notice how it's already beginning to rise in the tube as it warms to room temperature. Great. Jumping Jehoshaphat, you're right, Mr. Science. Never before have I seen the working of such powerful magic. Well, actually, it's not magic, Jimmy. The structure of the molecules is changing. And watch how the process is, is accelerated as I hold the tube over our laboratory Bunsen burner. Holy Moses, you can see it growing with the naked eye. We'd better flee in panic before it spreads like the monster fungus from the lost planet I saw on TV and consumes us both. Oh, just calm down, then. Nothing like that's going to happen. Mercury just happens to be the element that expands most rapidly when it's heated. Some of the others change so little that the difference can only be seen with a microscope. But every form of metal, liquid, and gas does increase in volume when its temperature is raised. Gee, and I'll bet you could even make some sort of device with an element in a tube to measure how hot the weather is. What a boon to mankind that would be. Right, Mr. Science? Yes, but a device like that's already been invented, Jimmy. It's called a thermometer, and it has mercury inside. No kidding! Well, maybe we could come up with an improved version using some of the stuff in this other bottle here. I'll hold over the Bunsen burner and see if it expands. No, don't do that, Jimmy. That liquid must never be heated. Put the bottle down, boy. Well, it's only half full. Put it down. I want to see if holding it over the fire will oh. make it uh, do anything. This session with Mr. Science was brought to you as a public service, paid for by the Philanthropic Council to make things nicer.